Hey friend, it's So from So's Draw Thoughts, and today I am going to be talking about Mr. Robot Season 3, Episode 7. Before we get into that, if you did not see last week's recap, breakdown, whatever, please go do that right now before you tune in. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and like and tune in because we're going to be talking about Mr. Robot every freaking week till the season finale. So here we go. So in this episode number seven, it's called Frederick and Tanya, which is the fake name for Mobley and, and Trenton, if you did not remember. They were the two people that helped Elliot with the 5-9 uh, hat. So we open up on a bl bloodied body. There's news going on in the background that there the 71 buildings are were under attack. It's caught on fire. Nobody knows what it is. Joey Badass shows up and takes Elliot's friends into handcuffs. It seems like uh, Joey Badass already killed Mobley's roommate. He's talking about Knight Rider. The Knight Rider theme song comes on. It's really great. We also pick up right where last week's episode left off where Elliot is watching the news. We cut to that and he, he has tears come down on his face. He's having a breakdown obviously because he knows what he did. He go he He's in such a panic, he goes to Krista, and he can't say the words, so Mr. Robot comes out. Mr. Robot talks to Krista and tries to tell her that this is what we did, and he's like, oh, you don't believe me. You don't think this all makes sense? And obviously, Krista tries to tell other authorities, but her boss is like, you don't think there are so many crazy people out there that are claiming that they're responsible for this hack? So we see another F Society video. Dom is already on the fence and attacking her boss, which we know is is working with White Rose. We have Tyrell in custody. He's looking through this book and they tell him to spot who held him as a prisoner. So obviously Tyrell asks the cops if he can see his family. Dom's boss comes in and, was, and turns off the camera and was like, it's just us two. And I want you to hear from me. Your wife's dead. He obviously is like, no, you're mistaken. He's like, no, your wife's dead. Your uh, son is in foster care at this moment. And if you ever tell a peep about what's happening between me or you or whatever, he will for sure make his son another statistic and Tyrell obviously has an emotional breakdown he's like screaming we cut to Angela who's looking at the news footage with Darlene and at this point you can tell she's a little deranged she keeps saying the the people are gonna be all right right the dead people they're gonna be all right right and she keeps forwarding and rewinding and playing the the footage of buildings burning up or crashing to the ground and she she rewinds it and she's like oh they're look they're fine obviously she's feeling tremendous guilt about what the fact that hey you just helped kill over 3,000 people we see White Rose and Philip Price who are talking and he's like why did you do this why are you targeting me and basically it comes down to Hey, you had one job to do. You were supposed to manipulate and control Angela Moss, and yet you couldn't, so I did. And Philip Price was is having everyone's actually having an emotional breakdown at this point and he he's like i'm gonna be completely destroyed and he's like yeah you are that's what white rose says you're also going to pick your replacement and he's like why did you do this to me and white rose simply just says because i had to ask twice is at that moment it's like oh my god brutal it's such a concise yet powerful statement because i had to ask twice like dang chills the authority and just her presence and that's such a parent thing to say because i had to ask twice but in a very monumental payback way which is very scary at this point you already know what's going to happen to mobley and trenton that they're they're the ones that are going to get blamed for this catastrophe dark army kidnaps them forces them to kill themselves which is the most brutal point blah 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 the police find out that they killed themselves and mr robot ends up with irving and they look at a party up in the rooftop and he irving just says hey those people it doesn't even matter that the world is going to shit they'll always you'll always end up like this and they're, they'll always be like that. And you can feel this overwhelming dread of like, fuck, when are they gonna win? Are they going to win? 
Are, are powerful people just going to consistently win this whole thing? The very end, Dom looks at her board where she has everything ma mapped out. She crosses Mobley and Trenton's face out and she writes White Rose, sticks it on top of Tyrell Rel Wellick. And she just says, you're actually going to get away with this, huh? And it's like, oh my god. I felt overwhelming dread and fear and just complete defeat after this. Honestly, I I was a little depressed after this episode. I had to take a little bit of time to try to gather my thoughts before I had to do this review because I felt like it was a heavy one. It felt like a very Sicario, moody, dark tone that ultimately leaves you defeated and I think that was the purpose to this. I don't know when the season is going to end if it's going to end in episode 10 or not. This is number seven so maybe there's three more episodes who knows I have to double check but at this point Mr. Robot and Elliot really really need to work together to defeat this war. I mean they're not winning these small battles but overall I hope that they're gonna win the war. But man oh my god there's so many feelings about about this. I don't know if I really had a favorite moment besides the fact that we see the FBI going through the house and the anticipation and tension is so strong and obviously you find out that they're already dead. Like that was, you knew it was gonna happen but it was just that much more devastating. And for Elliot, he needs to get his shit together and him and Mr. Robot need to freaking come up with a plan where they can possibly team up with Dom and Darlene and hopefully at at some point Angela will snap back because she's 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 kind of going off the deep end and to know that she's been manipulated to this extent is quite surprising. I also want Tyrell Wellick to get his revenge by either sleeping with that guy. That would be so fucked up. No, I actually meant I want Tyrell Wellick to team up with Elliot to possibly bring down the bad guys, aka the Dark Army. I know Tyrell is working for them, but at the same time, I'm hoping that Elliot would persuade him somehow to have him on his side so they can win this thing because they're they're losing and I don't know if I can see a clear way out because White Rose has mapped so many things so far ahead and she's figured it out. Like I said this was a tough episode no favorite moments it's mostly being thrown to the wolves not knowing what to expect having beloved Mobley and Trenton exit their way out like that is brutal. So I guess the other question now is what will happen once Trenton's email gets sent to her very trustworthy friend? Will shit hit the fan? Will there be pushback? What's going to happen? My mind is so hazy. I can't figure out the possibilities of what they can do to really come back strong in this. Everybody seems like a dead on loser compared to White Rose. This has been a complete massacre and it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I have no idea what which way they're gonna go and I don't know if many will be able to survive. With stories like this it's so difficult because how many more seasons can you do it about this and how much larger and deeper can you go down the rabbit hole? Yeah those are my thoughts. Very short and brief. I feel so my mind is so clouded because of everything. I don't know if you liked Trenton and Mobley as much as I did. I just really thought they were a great dynamic to the 5-9 hack team. The original, original team. Just thought it was so quirky. And looking at old images of them meeting together is like, oh, so nostalgic. <sighs> what a devastating blow. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Please let me know what your thoughts about this episode was and what you think may happen in the future. And of course, like always, if you did not subscribe already, please subscribe, like, and everything. And I'll see you guys next week for next week's episode, like always. So until then, bye friend.